Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Study at Ease. Today, we are going to study the topic, Coordinate Geometry. Coordinate Geometry. What do you mean by the term Coordinate Geometry? Well, it is a study of geometry using coordinate points. Now, where do we apply these? Well, Coordinate geometry is used in locating different objects with respect to a reference point. Now, as you see in this picture, we have two axes. Those are two perpendicular lines which cross each other. The horizontal line is called as a X axis and the vertical line is called as a Y axis. Now, the point at which the two lines cross, as you can see in this picture, it is called as an origin. The two ends of the x-axis, we can name it as x and the other as x dash. Similarly, one end of the y-axis can be named as y and the other end as y dash. Now, if you look at this picture, you can see that the whole plane is divided into four parts. These parts are called as the quadrant. It is marked as the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and finally, the fourth quadrant. It is going anticlockwise if you look at the pattern. As you can see in this image, you can see that it looks like two number lines crossing each other, isn't it? Now, this is when the axes are marked with numbers. Now, from the origin to the right side, you can see all positive numbers of the x-axis. Similarly, from the origin to the left side of the origin, you can see all negative numbers. We can see a similar pattern in the case of a y-axis also. From the origin to the top, you will see all positive numbers. And from the origin to the bottom, you will find all negative numbers. Now, we locate a point with respect to these coordinates. Now, there is something, a new term that I have to introduce to you. It's called as an ordered pair. Now, what is an ordered pair? As in, an ordered pair is represented by x, y inside parenthesis. Now, this x is called as an abscissa, whereas the y is called as the ordinate. This abscissa and the ordinate are used to locate any point on this coordinate plane. So, what will be the ordered pair at the origin, what will it be? It is 0, 0. The x value and the y value will be 0 at the origin. So this is how you represent it. Let us try plotting an ordered pair now. For example, let's plot the ordered pair 2, 3. In 2, 3, always keep it in your mind that the first number will be x and the second number will be y. So, 2 will be plotted against the x-axis and 3 will be plotted against the y-axis. So, let's try plotting it. As you see, the point is over there at 2, 3. Similarly, shall we try another example? Now, let's look at another example. How do we plot if we have a negative number in the ordered pair? So, let us consider an example. Say, let's take an ordered pair minus 4, comma, minus 6. So, both the numbers in the ordered pair are negative. So, minus 4 on the x-axis, minus 4 on the x-axis, and minus 6 on the y-axis. I hope you can see the orange dot, which is the ordered pair minus 4, minus 6. This is in the third quadrant. 2, 3 was in the first quadrant, and minus 4, minus 6 is in the third quadrant. Now, 
Let's try plotting another one. Last but not the least, let us try one more question. Let's see how to plot the ordered pair. Three minus five. Now, as you see, three must be plotted against the x-axis and minus five should be plotted against the y-axis. So three minus five is plotted in red. You can see that in red and it is in the fourth quadrant. I hope today's topic is clear to all of you. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please do not hesitate. Do like subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and see you in the next class.